First, we will undertake a comprehensive review of this election to learn and act on the painful lessons it has taught us. I can assure you this review will spare nothing and no one, least of all me. This will not be a simple internal review. It must give voice to party members and listen to those from outside our ranks. It must address the strategy and tactics we employed in the election, and it must examine the fundamental questions of who we are as a party and our relationship with the people of BC. We therefore need to take an unflinching look at our strengths and weaknesses and what we need to do to improve. Successful political parties constantly evolve to meet the challenges they face, and that's what we must do. Second, we will prepare for the upcoming legislative session and we will do the job we were elected to do. The NDP caucus is a strong, experienced team with some dynamic new members. We will hold the government to account. The Liberals committed in this election to balance budgets, to lower public debt, to high levels of job creation, and to protecting services, in particular health care and education, and supports for seniors and children. That's the contract they signed with British Columbians on Election Day. And that's the contract they must honor. We will hold them to it with passion. British Columbians will hold them to it. I will stay on as leader to ensure that our obligation to our members and the public are met over the next few months. That our review of what went wrong in the election ensures that lessons are learned. That the official opposition does the job that hundreds of thousands of British Columbians elected us to do. And that we are organized to hold the government to account. There are some important meetings ahead for our party, caucus meetings, a provincial council meeting, and a party convention in November that must craft the blueprint for renewal. As for the long term, the caucus, the party executive, and members of the NDP must start immediately to map out how we win the next election. I will do whatever is required to see that this happens. I will be guided by the discussion and direction given. I'll put the public interest and the long-term success of the BC NDP ahead of any personal ambitions. For now, together, we must fight for shared prosperity, to reduce inequality, for jobs and a safe environment. Working closely and in concert with our entire team, I will do just that. I will do what is right for that young, hearing-impaired young man and the thousands like him who are counting on us. Lastly, I want to say a few words of thanks to the candidates who put their heart and soul into the election campaign, to all the party members and volunteers who worked so hard and gave up so much on the campaign, whether for an individual candidate or for the campaign as a whole, and to every one of the hundreds of thousands of British Columbians who voted for us. We will carry on. We will learn and get better. And we will succeed next time. Thank you. Thank you.